Amortization expense represents the cost of an intangible asset over time in the form of amortization using both the expense side and accumulated amortization. This represents the decline in intangible assets such as patents, trademarks, and copyrights, tax laws, and generally accepted accounting principles will differ on ways to expense the cost of amortization over time. Let's take this concept a little bit further. As you know, in accounting, there's always two sides of the transaction. So, amortization expense becomes the expense side, or a debit, and the offsetting account is accumulated amortization. Accumulated amortization. It's a little bit of a mouthful, but thought I'd speak a little slow for some of you English as a second language out there, or ASL, accounting as a second language. So let's dive a little bit further into amortization expense, shall we? First of all, why the heck do we have it? Well, to understand amortization expense, you kind of have to understand what needs to be amortized or expensed over time. So we have intangibles, intangible assets. These are what are going to be expensed over time or amortized. In finance, sometimes people call amortizing just breaking things down year by year. So it also has other forms. In accounting, an easy amortizable asset is a copyright. Now, in this case, let's consider purchasing a copyright rather than creating it internally. So there is a difference once you get to more technical advanced concepts. So we're talking purchasing a copyright. So we might buy the rights to a, a, a rap or it could be a song or a publication, anything. It's intangible, you can't touch it. It doesn't have a physical presence necessarily or it's a slightly abstract. It's not a fixed asset. So fixed assets is depreciation. This is intangible, hard to touch, hard to feel. So copyright. Let's figure a copyright is purchased for $100,000. You know, let me correct that. Let's say a copyright is purchased for $150,000. This is trading an asset, cash, for an asset that's intangible, copyright. So we can't just go on our income statement of profit and loss and just write off 150,000 right away. That is not proper. So we try and expense this over time. So for tax purposes, it might be a slightly different treatment than a gap purpose, but let's just say for sake of discussion, that it's a 15 year straight line SL asset. So every year, assuming this was purchased on 1 1 2100, every year it is going to be $10,000 of expense. So 150 divided by 15 years. It's going to be 10,000 per year. Now, under GAAP or IFRS, there might be other types of rules, such as testing for impairment. Is this copyright still valuable? Has it lost value? Should the whole thing be thrown away? But for our purposes, we're saying $150,000, 15-year straight line amortizable asset, so $10,000 per year will be written off year by year by year. Now, how is this going to look in the wide, wide world of debits and credits? This could be a whole nother thing to learn. 
we have the expense side, expense, each year 10,000, and there will be an accumulated amortization, accumulated, this is a debit, credit, accumulated amortization of 10,000, moving back over. This is the journal entry which shows the debits and credits version on the back end of accounting. But for everyone who's in more of a financial statement perspective, how this is going to look on the balance sheet is you're going to state the copyright, the intangible. Intangible asset will be at cost, especially in the case of generally accepted accounting principles, United States. So this 150000 is a nice bookmark to show that that is what it was purchased at. And now each year, you'll have accumulated amortization. So accumulated is going to be minus 10000 after year one. This is how it's appearing on the balance sheet. And the transaction that we're talking about is the income statement. We have amortization expense 10,000 so this goes into the income statement in the world of debits and credits is going to be a debit to the expense credit to the accumulated amortization so we have patents Trademarks purchased. And we also have this concept called goodwill. Good will. Now, goodwill can be when a business is purchased, the excess of the fair market value, anything greater than that fair market value, is going to be goodwill subject to amortization. Amortization expense is the writing off the expensing of this intangible asset over time on the income statement, which is showing the business activity. So you might have revenue, one million, expense of amortization. 10,000, profit 990K or 990,000. This has been accountingplay.com. Thank you.